Oddly enough, women who have MS often discover that the effects of the disease are reduced during their pregnancy. I disagree with what was done decades ago where women with, with MS were told not to have children. And the reason I disagree with that is because what will happen when they have a child is during pregnancy they'll be protected somewhat, well actually significantly, from relapses in the last half of the pregnancy. We now have decades of data that tell us that women with MS certainly can um, become pregnant and bear children and that this does not affect their long-term disability and we have recent data that tells us that pregnancy is actually very protective. So in general I try to encourage my patients who want to start families to go ahead and do that. One often wonders, what does this protection during pregnancy mean? Does it mean that my symptoms are going to get better, or, or does it mean I'm not going to have a relapse? So to be very specific, what the protection during pregnancy means is that during the last trimester, and really approximately the last half of pregnancy, there will be a decreased probability of having a relapse. And of course, that is a new symptom that comes on over a day or two and lasts for weeks. So there's a decreased probability of having a relapse. It does not mean that pre-existing symptoms will necessarily get better or worse. It just means you're less likely to have a relapse.